Hi and welcome to this next part in our tutorial series. Last video we made a sprite class and if you run our application we get a white screen with a rocket on it. Now, to move a rocket. So, um, in your sprite class add a new argument to your constructor namely a vector to and name this position. In your and in your yeah and in your implementation so in your .cpp file and it also position and then type position equals position so you're going to assign this this class variable to our our argument variable now. Uh, if we run this, this will fail because we haven't because we're using a wrong structure now. So to move our rocket, say we, we want to to move it like 50 pixels to the right. So let's create a new vector for that. A vector two a rocket position. Yeah, rocket positions. Rocket position and then rocket position dot x equals say say three hundred and rocket position dot y is yeah make it two hundred doesn't matter now and now add rocket position to the to your uh, constructor arguments. Now, if we run this, there should be no error, but still, the rocket stays in the bottom left corner. So, go to your, go back to your sprite class, and in your and in your render method. So there is a function, a OpenGL function called GL translate and translate f, and this takes three arguments, so one for the x, the y, and the z. Now, we don't have a z, so that will always be zero, but for the y. So, for the x, so type position dot x, and the y type position dot y, and the z type zero. Okay, so if we run this now, you'll get nothing, and the rocket could like shoots away. So. What translate does it's it so it basically takes what we will draw and it moves it up the amount of units we specified in the arguments. So but now every time it keeps translating. So every time we render it it moves it again for 300 pixels and 200 pixels. So to fix that, we have to reset the, the transformation every time we render. And to do that, we call the function called a GL load identity. And what this does, this well basically resets the, the transformation. Um, if you're familiar with linear algebra, your your you will know what the identity matrix is and how matrix multiplication works. But essentially, if you multiply any matrix with the identity matrix, uh, you get the same matrix. So, yeah, I'm, if you don't know linear algebra, that that's yeah. Then all you have to know is that GL load identity basically resets the transformation. So if you run this now. The rocket cut stands now over here. So okay. And that was it for this video. In the next video we will work some more on our game. So see you then. Bye.